Now, if you've worked with the Cisco iOS file system, configuration files, and software images, you've probably already used Linux commands. Now, there are obviously some differences. DRR here shows us that CD takes me to the root of Flash, where CD here takes me to my home directory. I can use a command such as rm test to remove the directory test. But notice we told that we can't remove that because it has files in it. DR here, rm test. Notice we told that we can't remove that directory, but we could do that and remove the directory on Linux. Let's try delete on Cisco. Notice with delete, we have the same problem. Delete here is a command that's not currently found. rm-r test. That's not a valid option on Cisco. So rm question mark, flash zero, question mark, test. Doesn't allow us to do it. But having a look in the Cisco documentation, we have this option. To delete a directory with all its files and subdirectories, use delete forward slash force forward slash recursive and the file system file URL that you want to delete. So on Linux, we have rm hyphen r, which is a recursive deletion. On Cisco iOS, we have delete hyphen force hyphen recursive question mark flash zero colon test. And notice that now works. Test has been deleted. So here we have a slightly different option to what we have in Linux. The RM command doesn't have that option on a Cisco router. So the commands are similar, but not exactly the same. If I create a directory like that and then use remove directory, that works on Cisco in a similar way to what we have on Linux. So I'll create the directory again, rm test. Doesn't allow us to do that. We have to use this option to delete the directory. But if we used the touch command to create a file, that file now exists. Notice this is not a directory, this is a file. RM my file will delete the file. And in Cisco, I'll simply do a show run pipe redirect flash zero. And let's call this test1.cfg. So I've now redirected the running config to this file. So rm test1.cfg. That works slightly different to Linux. Here we'll use the command delete to delete the file from flash. So very similar commands to what we have in Linux, but there are some differences. I'll redirect the running config to flash again. And notice we have that file in flash once again. And we can use the more command to read the contents of that file in flash. So more flash zero colon test one dot cfg. Notice we see one page of output using the more command. I'll copy this output from the router. And I'm gonna use nano, which is a text editor, kind of like notepad. And I'm gonna paste that config into this file. So LS shows us that we've got that file. I'll copy it now to a 
different file so that we've got two files here. But notice in Linux, we can also use the more command. So more show run CFG. And that shows us in a very similar way to Cisco, one page of config at a time. So again, Linux commands are available on Cisco iOS. If you've already used some of these commands on Cisco, then it shouldn't be too difficult to start using similar commands in Linux. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.